Most narcissists need someone on the back burner at all times because he or she cannot be alone. A narcissistic husband needs a caregiver because he's unable to take care of himself. So, because I only coach women, and since mainly women watch my videos, I'll say he from this point. But that doesn't mean I don't agree that women can be narcissists, because they can, and I've known several. Just change out the pronouns if you feel it doesn't apply for you. Hi, I'm Jen Grice, author of the book, You Can Survive Divorce. I am a divorce mentor and empowerment coach guiding women to surviving and thriving after divorce. You can find out more about me and my ministry, my divorce mentoring, and my book at jengrice.com. I often get asked why a husband who abandoned his wife for another woman would contact his ex-wife, usually that's the person contacting me, to see about reconciling even for a hookup or to get another need met. There are several reasons why an ex will do this. Let's discuss those reasons. Number one, his needs aren't being met by the person that he's with but he certainly doesn't want to abandon that. For some reason, he's invested, or there could be some insecurity about the future with that person that you don't know about. She may not like that he's still married, or the, the insecurity of knowing that he um, was married while he was dating, probably dating her. That's not a good way to start a relationship. Keeping you on the back burner to use you when needed means he can be free to doubt that he'll be alone. He doesn't want to be alone, so he wants to always have backup women just in case. Number two, he comes back because the narcissist needs admiration, or as some call it, supply. And he really doesn't care if he gets that supply from good attention or an angry response. It's all supply to him, good and bad. So if he can get you on his back burner where he likes to keep many women, then he can call upon you when he needs to feel power or important, when he needs that supply. Again, even if that means it's just your angry response to him. That's why it's better to go no contact and not give any response at all, because any supply is good to him. Number three, usually each person that he uses will be dried up eventually, so he has to have many backups, hence the back burner. He likes to have many fires on the stove that so when one runs out of energy or gets sick of him, he can call up another. Serial cheaters do this well. They get a little over here and a little over there. And look at me, I have all these women wanting me. Again, feeding that need for admiration. Which leads me to number four. He feels so good about himself when it's like a Jerry Springer show and several women are fighting over him. This is an ego boost and enough supply to last him a while. He actually hopes you'll keep wanting him and the other women will want him too. That's why it's so important to not be that person for him. So what do you do to get off the back burner, to not be that person? You stop playing his game and you take yourself off the stove completely. Seriously, even if you do win him back, he'll just do it again. Even if the other woman dumps him, he'll find somebody else. Serial adulterers just keep repeating the cycle to keep themselves with fresh supply at all times, often keeping many on the back burner. They aren't content with what they have, so they have to constantly be adding more, and when one leaves, they just find another. You have to decide that you're setting up boundaries to separate yourself and heal after separation and divorce. The door is closed and it can never be opened again. You deserve better. Your children deserve to see you treat yourself better. So I have a question and think about this for a second. Would you encourage your child to accept a partner, a man or woman who said they love, honor, and cherish her or him to do this to them, to use them, to keep them on the back burner? No, you'd tell them to stop putting yourself in this position. So you need to be the best example that you can be for anyone watching and take yourself off the back burner from anyone's life. This is what's best for you. It's what's healthy for you. You deserve so much better. So what did we learn? A narcissist likes to have many women or people on their back burner for when other supply runs out. What can you do? 
take yourself off the stove and out of the kitchen completely, meaning their life. You will never be anything more to that person than a person to use for their own selfish gain. The narcissist is only looking for those type of people in their lives. So I hope this was empowering to you in some way today. If you have any questions or would like to share your story, please do so in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and keep watching. I hope to see you in the next video. God bless.